I guess I started taking photography seriously in my mid-thirties. At the time, I was doing a job I hated in financial services, always a good reason to look for something else to do. I managed to pluck up the courage to jack in the rat race and applied to do a degree course in photographic art at the University of Newport. Quite simply, this was a life changer for me. One of the best decisions of my life. Did I have a plan? No, not really. Three years later, in 2001, armed with the confidence and knowledge gained at uni, I opened my photography business and art gallery, White Space, in the Monmouthshire town of Usk. So for the last 20 years, I've been paying the bills by undertaking commercial jobs, as well as weddings and portraits, and of course the sale of my own photos. I've evolved pretty much into a landscape photographer over the years and love photographing the Welsh landscape. In 2019, I travelled with my friend Simon to Patagonia and spent a month there, moving around and of course taking lots of photos. Originally, it was the Welsh connection that drew me to that part of the world, but once I'd started seriously looking at the area as an option and a chance to tick something off my bucket list, I realised very quickly that Patagonia is a photographer's dream. A wonderful rugged landscape. It's a part of the world that makes the most of what it's got. Life there seems very simple compared to the UK in a non-materialistic sort of way. You cook the meat, put it on the plate and then eat it. That's sort of simple. In that month I really grew to love the place from the central barren desertscape to the coastal scenery and wildlife on its shores to the east and the majestic Andes to the west. I even managed to have a lovely Welsh conversation in a small town called Gaiman with a lady called Sonia. It turned out that she'd spent a year in my hometown of Aberystwyth. She'd stayed just outside Aberystwyth in a village called Llanbarren Fawr, where I grew up, opposite Cambrian Printers, where I worked for 10 years. It certainly is a small world. I was fortunate enough to be asked to put on an exhibition reflecting my journey in September 2019 at the Riverfront Arts Centre in Newport. It was actually the first time I'd put an exhibition on in nearly 10 years, so I was thrilled when it was very well received. If all goes to plan, then May 2022 will see me join a small group on a trek to Everest Base Camp. Maybe there will be another exhibition in the pipeline? I certainly hope so. So anyway, I guess it's time to start trekking up a few Welsh hills with my camera over the next six months or so to get my fitness levels up. Who knows, I might get a few nice snaps along the way.